A lot of you parents watching tonight, the best part of Christmas is getting to be a kid again while teaching your kids how to use that new toy. Tonight, photojournalist Johnny Munoz shows you a place where grown ups can be kids again, a place where playing with toy trains is perfectly acceptable. It started in 1950 in Lower Beaumont in the basement by an army doctor. And of course, back in the 1950s, everything moved at the speed of a train. Everybody wanted to know what trains were doing. It's kind of different to kind of see a different kind of, of hobby because. You know, nowadays everybody's into video games or movies or TV, but this way I kind of get to see an older world kind of play. He really, like, he's just, he acts so much younger, he's so happy. You can really tell it's something he thoroughly enjoys and puts a lot of time and energy into. We're all nostalgists. We all want to relive our childhood. We all want to recreate uh, places and things we've been. And it really is kind of interesting. It, it makes him seem like a young boy at heart. It's, it's really nice to see a different side of him. I'm more of what you call a shake the box kind of guy. I have to say it's really contagious. <laughs> you just kind of want to kind of come down here and pick up a train every now and again. It's, it's definitely a fun thing to do. Just real smooth moves. There we go. A terrible thing happened in the 1980s. It's called Atari. It was called Pong. And we never dreamed what would happen from Pong to uh, Call of Duty or uh, Grand Theft Auto. Everyone that's come in here and built something has brought in part of their childhood, their experience with trains. And. Um, that's one of the things that we do here. <laughs> My son got a little tiny train for Christmas. Well, if you would like to check out the model train exhibit, you can do so every Thursday night at 7 o'clock at 6335 Vaughn Court. That's near Ascarate Park off Fonseca. We'll put this information on kva.com in case you missed it. And by the way, it's sponsored by the El Paso Historical and Model Railroad Association.